This week, NASA scientists shared observations suggesting that a mighty river built much of the sedimentary fan originally thought to contain delta deposits in Jezero Crater. So how does this affect the search for life on Mars? On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance was sent to explore and sample an ancient delta deposit in Jezero Crater, an ideal place for preserving microbes if they ever existed on Mars. That's because deltas commonly have thick accumulations of clay minerals, also known as mud, which capture and preserve organic matter. But Perseverance has not found clay-rich mudstones. The most promising candidates were in the informally named Bacon Strip, but they turned out to be sulfate-cemented siltstones. Perseverance has spent the past three months in a phase of the mission originally named the Delta Top Campaign more than a year ago. It was renamed the Upper Fan Campaign, short for Alluvial Fan, as it got underway. This was a response to what Perseverance was finding and not finding. Deltas form when rivers deposit sediments into water, Alluvial fans are built on land. The difference matters in the hunt for mudstones because alluvial fans are not ideal. Now another type of terrain is coming into focus. Curvilinear features recognized from orbit more than a decade ago were interpreted as meander bends of a river. Meandering rivers migrate over time, depositing sediments known as point bar deposits on the inside of meander bends, but meandering rivers form on nearly flat land, not sloping alluvial fans, so something seems amiss. In late February, Perseverance rolled past a small hill that's part of some of the most prominent curvilinear features on the upper fan. Here's how it looked to Perseverance, and here's Mars Guy for scale. The 110 mm zoom on MassCam Z was used to build up a high resolution mosaic from 18 individual frames. What it captured appears to support the meandering river hypothesis. Look at the stack of sloping layers. They resemble the sloping point bar deposits of a meander bend, and their height represents the minimum depth of the river channel if that's what formed them. This scene also shows an unearthly feature, a small impact crater that formed much more recently, maybe hundreds to thousands of years ago. It's visible from orbit, which is how I recognized it and how I was able to figure out its size. Perseverance left this hill and drove back through and to nearby sets of curvilinear features, parking at the end of rows of fractured bedrock. SCAMZ shot an epic mosaic of this landscape using 203 individual frames. This same scene includes the hill with the stack of sloping layers. The relationship between the two favors the interpretation that in this location, we're looking down on point bar deposits that have been planed off by erosion, exposing the stack of sloping layers from the top. Perseverance has since moved on and sampled one of these rocks in yet another location of curvilinear features, as I presented in episode 104. It looks like a coarse sandstone with angular grains, which, although not a clay-rich mudstone, was shown to be rich in carbonate, another mineral good for preserving biosignatures. So at this point, we've got observations supporting the hypothesis that borrowing now from the book and movie, a river ran through it. If a meandering river did indeed produce the curvilinear features of this landscape, this is a place not quite as good as a river delta in the search for ancient Martian microbes, but it is better than the debris flows and flash flood deposits of an alluvial fan. Still, there would have been no fly fishing in this ancient Martian river.